is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Monday, August the 15th, midway through the month, and we're looking at weekly charts. Most of them in the indices have actually squeaked to a new recovery high. So we've started off the week in leg B in the Dow because it's above the 33.767 high of um, Friday. It's at 33.779. That continues as leg F. You're looking at the S&P. Had a high on Friday of 42.80.47. Uh, it's pushed above that by about 30 cents. And we're now looking at leg F continuing. You're at the QQQ. Uh, let's see, this is trading at 331.25, extended that leg um, from Friday. Uh, all of these now, the weekly charts, have had a higher high this week within the first 30 minutes of trading. Therefore, all week, no matter what happens, this becomes in the QQQ leg B. You could drop 100 points. It doesn't matter. This is still a leg B. In the, in the Dow, I'll talk about this more when I get back for my show, the Tiger Traditions Hour in a few minutes' time. This is a leg B. S&P, the same thing. This is the week, weekly charts. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for my subscribers over the weekend. We had that almost hour-long um, video that I discussed all these different patterns. And I said, these breakouts in the weekly chart, are. this is the first time that I'm looking at the time frame moving. We're looking at the gold contract Gold contract down 22 points, made a peak D in Chapman Wave, the fourth highest peak, peak D is where other things can happen. Pulling back, and the dollar's had a little bit of a bounce here. It is bouncing up 31 ticks at 106, went to the resistance line. This is a, a down channel, went right to the to the edge of the channel, and it's pulled back in the inside track. We're looking at crude oil sharply lower after uh, this peak B bounce. Oh, it made a lower low. So the dreaded H pattern now underneath the 200 period moving average. Wow, this is so important. Look at that weekly chart almost about to break down. We're looking also at the TLT, which the bonds uh, had a gap up. It's uh, 80, up 80 cents at 16.36, right in that rectangle uh, pattern support. That's really important. So that yields are pulling back a bit. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call, Daily News that I will be back with a lot to discuss. Basil Chapman signing off for this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Mark, a newsletter, uh, sorry, news update. <laughs>